This video will look at how you convert uh, content that might be on a DVD into a format that can be played on an iOS device like an Apple TV, an iPad, an iPhone or an Android device or one of those streaming devices that will allow you to watch it in a digital form on uh, your TV. Uh, to, do th to do so, you need a couple of programs. One is called Handbrake. And Handbrake is the, the, the free program that will allow you to rip, which is what it's called, to extract content, uh, and decide how you want to organize and, and um, order the, the content. And the other one you need is the VLC player, which you can get from videoland.org. And it's uh, that uh, piece of software which is a free piece of software also which will assist in the ripping process. Now be aware of um, piracy and the legal ramifications. At this, this, I'm not advocating any piracy but if I have legally purchased a DVD and want to watch it on uh, another device then that's the reason I'm doing this, not to steal. So what you would need to do firstly is to download both programs. So I'm going to handbrake.fr and download Handbrake. And depending on what platform you're on. So I'm using a Mac and I'm downloading the 64-bit um, version of Handbrake for the Mac. For the Windows, you would need to know what version of Windows you have. Have you got 32-bit or 64-bit? Download the appropriate one and install it and do the same on the video LAN. The, the, this one is coming up as download for the Mac as I'm on a Mac system. Download the appropriate uh, version for your computer and then once you've done that, come back. So, this is Handbrake. Once you open it, this is what it looks like. I have a DVD in the, in the computer already and it's a a DVD of I think six episodes of a British, a British comedy called French Fields and when uh, you open Handbrake you can decide to convert a content that's on a DVD or you can convert a file that you already have on your computer which might be a, a, an AVI file, .avi file or a .mov file which doesn't work with Apple TV or the iPad and you need to convert it to a format that will play in the device you normally use. Before we look at how you do that, just, let's just go through the, the interface, the graphical user interface of Handbrake. And the menu is at the top there. The source is going to look for your source. So if I t click source, it's going to, to give me a drop down box where I can search for content. So I can actually go into my movies and maybe pick an MOV file and convert that or what I usually use it for is to rip my DVD so I need to find it and it's here French Fields is the video uh, I want to scan the video so I just need to select the video folder and open and now Handbrake is scanning that source looking for the content breaking it down into the different episodes, if it's a TV show. If it's a movie, it will isolate the movie file and then all the extras files, you know, photo galleries, whatever's on there, the subtitles or the different languages. And movie files can be a little bit more complex to, to rip because you've got to try and find the right file. With this one, this is now completed and we'll look in a minute how we actually now decide to um, add all the different um, episodes because there are six episodes on here and you find that by going into the drop down box and there are six episodes one two three four five six twenty seconds I've no idea what that is but it can't be uh, anything useful so I would ignore that but there are six episodes here um, I want us to to rip them separately so I can have different all the different episodes uh, that I can watch one by one rather than one big long lump of, of, of TV show I want them all separate uh, there are some other stuff here, these angles, there are chapters, things that I don't really actually touch actually. Um, so you could probably safely ignore that. Uh, this is where the files that you rip are going to be located. At the moment they're going onto my desktop 
and I need to rename them because all that's coming up with is the name of the DVD, French Field Season 1. Well, I need to have some, some naming conventions so I can find these files when I'm using them through my iTunes or my Apple TV. Uh, this will start the encoding process, which we're not ready to do yet. If you, have, if you want to do multiple episodes, so at this stage I want to rip all six episodes off this DVD at the same time, the same, in the same um, s session, if you like. I don't want to have to do one, wait for it to, to encode, and come back and do the next one. I want them all to, to happen in a batch, and that's what the queue does. You can add to the queue, and then you can show the queue, at the moment there's nothing in the queue, to show what is actually going to be encoded what, and, and how far the progress is. We'll come back to that. Uh, picture settings, once you've actually decided on your format, you can actually uh, look at the, the, fi the final settings that it's going to be encoded at. Uh, the preview window, if you actually want to see a little bit about what the um, actual program is. I've, I've find I don't actually use that, but it, you know, it might be handy. You can actually scroll through and try and find a, a particular spot in the, in the video, just to live preview it and make sure it's what you want. That's the right scale, etc. It's the preview window. Uh, the activity window will just go through and tell you if you wanted to look at that live as you're encoding, it goes through the whole process. This is what it's doing. It's, it's, it's ripping it here. It's creating an a, a, um, angle there, whatever it, whatever it does. But I don't ever use that. The toggle presets. When you uh, are going to, to rip something, you need to decide what am I going to play it on. Uh, Handbrake comes with presets already part of the program to so you don't have to worry about trying to set up your own um, settings because I don't actually like to, to fiddle too much with all this stuff in the middle or go into all these extra advanced things. It, this looks a bit too complicated. I want to play mine on either an Apple TV or an iPad and I can select that preset, the Apple TV 2, TV 2 so when I have, which already comes with settings already in it, so you don't have to fiddle, it'll work. Uh, it now has presets for the Apple TV 3. Um, the iPad, it has presets for that, what I, and the phones and the Android phones. What I tend to do is just use a Universal for DVDs, because they're in standard definition generally. If I wanted to rip an HD uh, digital file, then I would probably go for one of these specific settings. But you can experiment. I found that Universal works just as well. It, and it gives me a very good copy of the file. Uh, the, the format, you can decide how do you want the file um, output. Now for iOS devices, which I predominantly use, it's MP4 is the, the format that is required. I can't play .avis. Uh, I can't play .movs with great difficulty. I can't import them into iTunes, which is what I use to manage my media. So I want them as an MP4. You only have two options. MP4 is the one I choose. And I'd, I'd largely ignore that. I haven't ever fiddled with that. The universal preset seems to be all I need. It will give you the audio. So if your DVD comes with an audio track that's 5.1 sound, it will also encode that, as well as the two-channel sound. So if you're playing it on a, an Apple TV that has 5.1 sound connected to it, you can choose on the through the Apple TV interface to, to play it with the 5.1 sound. But you don't have to add it all, it just, go, it just does it. Uh, subtitles, if there are any subtitles, you could add them in there if you wanted to, to include it, particularly on a movie. Um, advanced, not even going to go there. I've never never even looked at that, never had to. And with chapters, there are four cha chapter markers. I actually haven't fiddled with that too much either. So you don't really have to touch it. If you're picking a preset, it's a very simple process. This is the size, the source size. So the source of the video, that's the source video, and it'll be output um, slightly bigger. Um, and that's its resolution. Um, this is the qu constant quality. So if you push it up here, you're going to get a better quality. But I just tend to leave it, where it wherever it happens to be. Um, and what we're really, really ready to do now is just organise the different episodes and, and start to encode it. The, the process is pretty simple. Put your DVD in. Click the source button to allow um, Handbrake to find the source and then organise it and then encode it. Four steps. 
So there are six uh, episodes here. And in terms of naming conventions in an Apple TV where it uses iTunes, then I, I know, like to have all the seasons identified and the episodes identified and the name of the episode. So in here, it's going to be French Feel. This is season one. So how I do it is just pick uh, oh, the season. It's episode one. And episode one is called Channel Vision. And it's going to be ripped as a universal. And then I add to the queue. I show the queue. That one's in there, ready to be ripped. Select the next one. This one is the same season. It's a different episode. So I can just go back to episode two and put the name of it in. And add that to the queue. So we've now got two. Let's do one more. Third one. Three. Add to the queue. Right, the all six have been entered and all six have been put into the queue ready to encode and all you need to do then is hit start and it will start to encode it will give you a an idea of how much time each one will take at the bottom here it's going to take 44 minutes to encode the first episode so it, can, it takes quite a while and depends on your system how fast this process will be so you simply um, set it get it encoding go and have a cup of coffee or two and then come back later. When the encoding is finished you'll have the uh, the message Put down that cocktail your handbrake queue is done so you can turn that off. This is the uh, the queue at the end of the encoding all episodes have been encoded and saved to um, iTunes I think no actually they've saved it, saved it to the uh, hard drive the location that they've saved to is the desktop and what you then do if you use iTunes is drag them all into iTunes and give them um, some tags and they're all listed there under TV shows by episode so there is the season two all the episodes so they can now be played through and, and Apple TV on an iPad, on an iPhone, any iOS device. Uh, if you're using something like a WD TV Live, something that'll stream media, you don't necessarily have to convert them. Um, you can rip them to MP4 and in a device like that would play MP4. Um, the other useful element of Handbrake is that it will convert a file from one format to another. So to do that, we need to find a file that's that is not an MP4, that, that perhaps is a, a .avi file that I would like to play on an Apple TV. And to do that, it needs to be an MP4 uh, or an M4V. So to find it, again, I go into the source this time. I'm not going to, to select the, the DVD, but I'm going to go into my uh, finder and to movies. There is a movie called flawless.avi file that will not play on an iOS device unless it is converted. So let's open it and let Handbrake scan it. And then uh, it goes for one hour, 44 minutes, eight seconds. Uh, I want to be able to play it on an Apple TV 2 or an iPad, but in, in this case, I'm just gonna make it universal. Keep all the settings. So I want the codec to be H.264. I want it to be as an MP4 file. MP4 file, I might increase the quality a little bit further up towards zero. Uh, that's the size of it, so it'll be output at the same size. Uh, all I need to do is indicate where I want it to go, so it's going onto the desktop, and from there I'll drag it into iTunes. Uh, if I didn't want it to go in the desktop, I could browse and select somewhere else that I wanted to put it. But the desktop is easy, it's just uh, easy to find, then move it elsewhere after that. And all I need to do is start 
because there's only um, one program, there's no need to add it to the queue. Uh, so I won't do that. I'm just going to start the encoding. And down at the bottom there, it tells me how long to go. It's 41 minutes to encode this. So again, it's a, it's a process, so you just have to let it go and uh, leave it alone till it's finished. Uh, all in all, it is a very useful program. Handbrake plus VLC player will let you rip your DVDs to make digital copies of your movies and TV shows. Handbrake on its own will allow you to convert a movie file from one format to another. Try it. It's not that difficult. Particularly if you're into the streaming, it's the way to go.